Okay, so let's go with the topic uh, called crossover rate today. And uh, yesterday we have graphically seen what what really is the crossover rate. Today we are going to practically find this particular crossover rate. Okay, now let's see how to find out the crossover rate for a project. It's an important question. See, let's uh, let like there are two projects here. Uh, uh, this particular crossover rate we can find out uh, with the help of this example. We'll see how to find out. So the following shows the calculation of crossover rate for two projects when they both have level cash flows, like different different level of cash flows. Correct? Cash flow means return of sorry. our investment, sir. Sorry. Cash flows. It means return of our investment or the thing which we are investing. What what sorry which one? Cash flows like we will have different cash, cash flows. We will get cash. See cash flows here. They did not mention whether it's a cash inflow or outflow. That means they are speaking about both inflow and outflow. That means first will first there will be a outflow, then there will be a inflow. Correct? Hello. Yes, sir. See here you are investing fifty thousand. That's an outflow. Here you are investing one lakh fifty thousand. That's an outflow. These are two different level of cash flows, and here you are receiving some cash inflows of fifteen thousand annually for five years. Here you are receiving forty-four thousand for five years annually. So these are two cash inflows, correct? Yes. So a company is considering two projects, A and B. Each requires the purchase of a new machine, but the company can accept only one project because it has factory space for only one new machine that is mutually exclusive project investments are given things are given here i have already explained at which discount rate would the company be indifferent that means they are asking you crossover rate crossover rate is that rate at which both the projects would have equal npv or same npv okay now in other words what is a single discount rate that would result in the same npv for both projects a project's npv is the present value of its future cash inflows minus initial investment so you already know this formula present value of cash inflows after discounting all the future cash flows you get present value of cash inflows minus your investment so you get your npv also the present value of an annuity is the annual cash flow payment multiplied okay we know how to do that okay now we will go for the calculation okay. so see if i have to tell you npv is nothing but the present value of future cash flows minus the initial investment or outflow this is your npv will you will you accept this point please tell me yes and here this 15000 we are getting every year and this x we are assuming as annuity factor what is that okay. what is that annuity factor why this is what we are taking as annuity factor because instead of discounting 15000 every year for 5 years and getting the present value it is better if you multiply that annuity factor with this 15000 and get the present value as on today for all the 15000 cash flows which we are going to receive in the future for next 5 years correct yes so here also we are doing the same thing 44000 into the annuity factor minus the initial investment will give you the project b's npv now as uh, as per the concept the crossover rate says that it is the rate at which both the projects npv should be same so npv of a should be equal to npv of b correct so you equate it and find out the annuity factor please do this 
till here i am waiting then we'll go forward Got it? Okay, doing now. Okay, I'm waiting. Fine. If you're when you're done with, please tell me. I'll go forward. You're doing Nazarina? Yes, sir. Done. OK, OK. And uh, Smithy, doing? Finish? Right. So right, now what do you need to do? Time. Yeah, yeah. OK, OK, fine. You can, you can. You need you to can go to the. Sir. Sorry, sorry. You can continue, sir. OK, OK, yeah. So what do you need to do? You need to go to the present value of annuity table. There you have to see for fifth year. 3.448 where you are getting okay you do that here fifth year 3.4 what was that 3. Point? Hello. Four four eight two seven. Four four. Uh, exactly, it is coming. Not exactly, but it is coming near to fourteen percent. Okay, almost all. So yeah, that is your crossover, right? Fine. Just finish it off. OK, let's move forward. Just can you do this question? Can you try this? Yes. And also. This one. OK, I'm giving time. Come on, start this. I'm waiting. So what are they asking a firm with a 18% cost of capital is considered in the following projects on Jan 1st year one. So Jan 1st year one, these are the this is the outflow for project A and they got an inflow of that project at the end of year five. That means after five years. So this is what you have done the initial investment and this is what you got. 
at the end of year 5 and the return was 16. <coughs> This is IRR. That means this is the rate at which this projects. <coughs> project A's NPV would be exactly equal to zero. Okay. This is project B's investment and these are the inflows. They're asking you find out IRR for this. So. Can you do this? And also you have to find out the project A's NPV. Okay. I'm waiting. The question is very clear. Zarina and Smithy, any luck? Did you did you get the answer for the first one? Hello. No, sir. No. Ninety seconds. I'm not understanding. See, very simple one. I'm not understanding why you are not doing. Let us take this outflow. Three lakh fifty thirty-five something. This is your initial investment. What is your inflow? 74 something. Into what is you need to find out the present value. Your cost of capital is 18%. What is your factor for the fifth year? 0 0.4371, correct? Yes. So yes, year sir. one, two, three, four, five, it's for five years. So you just take that 0 0.4371, multiply with this. Whatever you are getting, you subtract this from that. You will get the NPV. Please do this. I am waiting. Strange if you are not doing this. What are you getting? Two lakh sixty five thousand four sixty. That's negative or positive NPV? Uh, negative, positive, negative. It's a negative NPV, of course, because your present value of inflows is less than outflow. So this is your answer. OK, you can check okay. it backside and then you find out the project B's IRR. I'm waiting for that. Your conceptually, you have to think.
Okay. So this is not that tough. They are asking you IRR. So IRR is nothing but it is that cost of capital at which your NPV should be exactly equal to zero. Correct. So yes, yeah, to get that our cost of capital happens to be 18 percent. OK. So what you can do in this case. You can take this outflow and this is your inflow. <clears throat> You take 16% this one and you take uh, just a second. I'll tell you. See, they are giving you four rates now 15, 16, 18, 20. Am I right? Please tell me yes or no. Hello. Hello, yes, sir. We need to pick one out of these four, correct? Yes. So in our list, this is gone. This is gone. One, two, three, four. Four rates are there. You take 20% and you take 15%. Please. Okay, what I'm saying to do is your investment, your outflow is 40, this something. Okay. 40 lakhs. Yes, sir. Inflow is 99 lakhs 50,000. You just discount this 99 lakh 50,000 with 20% rate. And with uh, like 15% uh, rate once, please do this. That means into 0 0.4019 and tell me what you're getting. And also the, uh, the same number you should take and discount with 15% and tell me what you're getting. So whatever you're getting here, you subtract this with this. If you're getting the value very near to zero or exactly zero, that rate would be your IRR. Okay, can you try this? Please tell me. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is your out inflow now. We are discounting this inflow to the present value today. So we are multiplying Thank with you. discounting factor. Suppose Thank this you. answer is for 40 lakhs, suppose. So here you can get zero. So this 20% uh, will be your IRR. Like that you have to try with 15 and 16% also. I am waiting. For 20% we are getting 1095. Sorry? Difference. Uh, 1000? 95. Yes, sir. And please do with 15% also. It's around something 9 lakh. Or else do with 16%. Okay, okay, because let, let us wait, wait. With 20% you are getting this positive NPV. Uh, we are getting seven and lakhs. If you take a lesser seven. rate, you would get the discounting would be less, even more positive NPV. So I think almost all 20% can if only be the answer. Let's see. Yes, for 20%, for 15% it's something nine lakh, and for 16% it's seven lakh Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will be getting a higher number why? Because those are less uh, discounting rates, no? Yeah. 93 wala na? Yeah, this is like correct. Okay, because you're getting a very less value, it seems. Correct? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, what they have done is they have this present value. See what they have done. And IRR is nothing but is that rate at which your PV of cash inflows should be equal to PV of cash outflows. So PV of cash inflow I can get with by just taking 99 lakh 50 thousand and multiplying with the discounting factor. OK. That discounting factor I'm keeping reserved. That is I'm assuming it as X. That should be equal to your 40 lakhs, correct? Please tell me yes or no. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, are you understanding this? Yes, sir. 
yes sir to get present value of cash inflows whatever the future cash inflows i have i have to discount with a factor that factor i don't know i'm keeping it as x i told you a different method this is a different method i'm explaining this method also yes, now sir. that x would be 40 lakhs divided by 99 lakhs 50000 so you are getting 0.402 that you check in the table it is very near to 0.4019 hence 20% okay just make a note of this even we'll go for the next question Okay, have you done this? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so let's do the next one. So theory question, I would leave for you to do, uh, like based upon your reading. Okay. have we done this question 91 question done na please tell me hello did we do this question hello hello did we do this question no sir no no sir we didn't okay, do okay please try this and why i am leaving this theory question i could have discussed with you but i want you to read the text first okay and then try to give it then we can discuss on it okay go just do this question i'm waiting
You would solve it or shall I help you? Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm trying. You would solve it or shall I help? Um, trying. So you help. See, I have done just the question right now. Similar question, very similar question. You should try. Or else, how would you get the answers? How would you do the uh, like uh, questions? Okay, try this. Let me see. Or else, I'll do just meeting for for two to three minutes. Okay, have you got the answer? Let's check it out. See, Tendulkar Inc. has a project that requires this much initial investment and is expected to generate annual after tax cash flows of this much for 12 years. Okay. So, initial investment is something this one, and they are going to receive this much in 12 years. So, you need to Find out the present value of this as on today. So 60 divided by 1 plus it is 14%. So we'll take 0 0.14 or else you can go to the table and you can check the table. You can take 12 years and in that you can take with 14% what is your present value. Okay. Factor. Uh, so, so 60 divided by 1.14. Can you tell me what is the answer for this? Hello. So it is fifty two fifty two point six three two point six three yeah. one five seven. So twelve uh, six. So you're getting something. Just a second. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Just a second. It is not this. Actually, uh, the investment is this, and the expected 
it is expected to generate annual after tax cash flows of this much for 12 years every year this much so 60 into present value of annuity factor at the rate of 14% for 12 years so we'll take that factor from uh, the table so present value of annuity factor at 12% It is twelve percent, na? Or for what is that? Twelve percent, correct? For twelve, fourteen percent or twelve percent? Percent for twelve years. How much percent? Fourteen percent for twelve years. Fourteen percent for twelve years. So yeah. So it is twelfth year, five point six six zero. Okay. So we will multiply that with this. So, what was the factor? Five point six six zero, na? Yes, sir. So sixty into. We'll take the full amount. Six zero 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 into five point six six zero. So we'll get three three nine six four zero. Three three nine six zero 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 minus. Four zero 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 zero. So we'll get sixty lakh forty thousand. Sixty lakh forty thousand negative value. Okay, this is our NPV. So can you do the IRR? Just we did the same question, na? For IRR, it's very simple. Yes, I got IRR. So what did you do for your IRR? It's a. Uh, you took your. Uh, your present value of cash inflow should be equal to your present value of cash outflow. And so, factor. present value yes. uh, of your cash inflow. So, 60. This one, whatever is given, like 60 into x, correct? X, yes, sir. Is equal to 40. Is equal to 40. 40. 40. Yeah, that's what. So, 6.66666. X is equal to 40, whatever is given, divided by 60 something. So, what is the answer you got? X is equal to 6.66666 and so on. Yeah, because 2 by 3 you will get here. Something 6.666. So, what is that 6.666 if you see for the 12 years in the annuity factor table? Let's go and see there and just tally. We'll directly go into the answer. And tally it. Six point six six and that is closest to ten percent because it is near to six point eight one four. Okay, that's the yes. answer. So please go through the questions. What we are trying. Okay, don't leave it like that. I'm covering every question, working hard, and I'm going to share the PDFs also very soon. Fine. Have you done this eighty-eight question? Zarina, this one? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir, we did it. Yeah, Smriti, please watch that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please get updated. And then next one, my 91st question also done. 92nd question we just did. Okay, this is done. 95th can you just do this question i'm waiting last question of the day can you try this as a homework please
Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, just do this as a homework. Tomorrow you are entering into the whole and I want you to read all the theory and try this and we will discuss. Tomorrow you are entering into advanced capital budgeting topics. Okay. Whereby tomorrow, please be prepared for all the three methods again with some extra information. I will wind up that one. More three classes, three to four classes. Hopefully you're done with this chapter. Okay, probably three to four classes. That's it. Fine. Sure. Yes, sir. Thank you.